Well, a massive storm that triggered flooding, mudslides, and power outages in Northern California is now moving south. Ted Rowlands looks at what the state can expect next. Overnight, relentless rain and winds continue to pound California. This morning, a mudslide in Camarillo Springs, north of Los Angeles, forces evacuations as rescue crews frantically sift through rubble, making sure nobody was caught in the slide. This man had just walked outside onto his front porch when mud engulfed his home. I knew I was, uh, I was in trouble at that point. But it was fine. Uh, somehow the good Lord put me on that front porch. Across Southern California, people are bracing for more mudslides as the storm continues to move in. Once the rains come and the, the mud starts to flow, uh, there's nothing residents can do. Meanwhile, much of the San Francisco Bay Area is underwater after nearly a foot of rain fell in some areas. In wine country, vineyards are flooded while people use kayaks and air mattresses to make their way around. Thousands are still without power. Washington state, a third home falls into the ocean, the result of huge waves slamming the coastline. Anything can happen. In neighboring Oregon, at least two people killed after fierce winds toppled trees onto them. The stiff winds in Oregon also tore roofs off homes and led to this unusual picture of tumbleweeds piled up at a woman's home in Pendleton. Despite the headaches, California desperately needs this rain. This storm expected to taper off over the weekend. More predicted for next week. Ted Rollins, ABC News, San Francisco.